Hi, welcome to the Southern Maryland Market Watch, brought to you by RBI, Real Estate Business Intelligence, an MRIS company. We're going to dig into the most recent numbers from the Southern Maryland housing market, which includes the counties of Calvert, Charles, and St. Mary's. Let's jump right in. Your current outlook on the housing market depends on how you interpret the signs. Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke's unusually uncertain economic outlook underpins the need for job growth before housing demand recovers across the nation. As a flurry of yellow school buses make their rounds and the leaves begin to turn, August brought a mostly positive mix of market activity to the region. Pending sales posted a small but reassuring 1.8% increase over August 2009 to arrive at 341 contracts signed. Several regions across the country are still experiencing 30% declines in buyer activity, but certainly not here. Prices lost some ground, which likely reflects the mix of homes that closed during the month. The August median sales price of $269,153 was a slight 2.5% decrease from last year at this time. If the school season slows down seller activity like it historically has, prices should stay mostly flat for the remainder of the year. As a result of strong sales and stable listings, Inventory levels shrunk by 1.5% as active listings slimmed down to 3,072 units. Looks like those weight loss shakes are finally paying off. Inventory is the metric to watch in the coming months as current changes to housing supply may affect future price movement. That could mean the market may shift, so keep a close eye on this. Another key indicator to watch is month supply of inventory. The August month supply figure stands at 10.1, which was a 16.2% decrease from last year at this time. Month supply is calculated by dividing the current number of active listings by the average number of monthly sales over the past year. A balanced market will ideally have between five and six months of supply. But how much of the past few years of real estate activity would you call ideal? Our thoughts exactly. The double-digit decline is certainly a move in the right direction and puts us not too far outside the sweet spot. As fall trots onward, a slowdown in new listings should continue to bring balance to the marketplace. For those agents representing sellers, make sure your listings show well, remain competitive in a market where buyers have plenty of options, and are aggressively priced right out of the starting gate. Other than that, continue to watch new job growth levels as well as the local unemployment rate. That's the Southern Maryland Region Market Watch for this month. Tune in next month for the latest.